and welcome back to our painting metals with chalk paint series I have been very fortunate to run across this lovely box from Macy's on a clearance table and the top somehow had a little ding in it and it was bent and so we managed to work that out simply by standing on it and um, now we have two pieces to paint this time and I love this little label holder area here it's really really nice that you're gonna be able to see my little bitty label that says vitamins you see this piece is going to actually sit on my kitchen counter and all of those little bottles of vitamins the daily vitamins that we take we're going to store here and that way we don't have to have them all scattered out in the cabinets when you see this next to the coffee pot you'll understand why it's a constant reminder of us to stay healthy so I've already mixed up my chalk paint so we're simply going to start painting I'm choosing that tag cell linen from before and you guys know how that turned out very nice and smooth on that little plaque I've already mixed in my little bowl as usual and I do follow through with the box I'm gonna answer the question about why I use the box um, you see I use a mixer to make my chalk paint at home and you guys know that those of you that are subscribers and the reason for that is it makes it nice and creamy you know in the factory the chalk paint is actually mixed and it's shaken just a little bit or any paint is mixed um, in a little shaker or either a large shaker in a manufacturer and then what happens is it's nice and creamy before it's put into the packaging well in order to achieve that at home that's why I choose to use a mixer for it to get that nice creamy look to it the paint and I, I know that you can do it at home by simply using a mixer I was simply um, standing at the hardware store and I noticed that you know what they always mix the paint and then they go over and they put it on this little wheel and they kind of shake it for about maybe 20 minutes or so well you know maybe that's why our paint wasn't nice and smooth at home for those of you who've had bad experiences with chalk paint because you didn't really get it nice and creamy I'm not saying anything bad I'm just simply saying why not try something new to achieve the effect that you want so we're going to continue painting this lovely little file box I don't know what it was in its original state could have been a bread box I don't know but I simply like it and now it is going to house vitamins for us I'm all about storage guys in very practical inexpensive ways so continue to stay tuned and you will watch this lovely little um, vitamin box come to life we're going to use the same colors that we used on that wall plaque earlier and you'll be able to see uh, all of this is basically in the same room or adjacent to one another so with that being said that's why I continue to use these same colors these soft ivories slash linens and um, roasted coffee and then of course my rolling on the river rolling sea blue kind of tied into these mix because I'm still in the same room and that's what you want to do so continue to stay tuned and watch this whole project turn to life and we will get to the next stage shortly this is what I'm going to call the primer stage putting that ivory on yes we are going to use wax again love that idea of using the wax to make a little blended effect because we want to tie all those colors in absolutely everything um, in this one room and I don't know what your color palette is but let's start playing with them at the same time how many of you guys would like for me to Skype in maybe a presentation and we all work on a project together let me know I'd love to hear from you and thank you all so much for subscribing you guys have actually blown me away with your dedication and by sharing um, the link over and over again thank you so much this newbie truly and indeed loves you I really and truly appreciate that you didn't have to do it but you did so I count it all on joy see you in just a little while when all of this is done just this priming stage and we'll move on to the next level